from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for June 6, 2017. In a moment, we're going to be taking a look at the AUD USD, the Australian versus the US dollar, for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trade suggestions made over the past few days, starting here. On the USD CHF, we were looking to sell on a rally in the resistance. We see the market pushing underneath the blue shaded area, which is 96.40, 96.60. And so far this week, we have seen the market holding underneath that blue shaded area as resistance. So yesterday, taking a short into the top of that blue zone gave us our lowest risk and highest potential reward for the trade. We can see that we've already seen over 20 pips of profit, currently sitting about 12 pips of profit. But at the lowest low that we've seen over the past 24 hours, we've seen over 20 pips of profit. And I know that because the trade manager has taken my stop loss to break even. You can see that current stop loss top left hand side of the chart is at zero. So I've seen over 20 pips of profit. I'm at break even. I can't lose on the trade. Of course, we'd like to see the market begin to go bearish again in the direction of the trend and start pressuring down towards the 9590 level as our first target. Moving over to the USD CAD, of course, on this currency pair, we were looking to go short as well underneath resistance. The yellow shaded area, 1.3490.3515, is where we were looking to go short. You can see the market pressuring un underneath. In fact, let's zoom it in one more time. Pressuring underneath, open and closed retested the yellow shaded area. We took the short there into the yellow zone and profit all the way back down to the green zone. We are locked into profit. Can't lose on the trade. We've seen the market hit our uh, first target. Of course, we'd like to see the market break down through the green zone to continue lower. Uh, I think likely what's going to need that, uh, what's going to need to happen to make that uh, happen underneath the green zone is that we need to see, see oil rebound a little bit. But right now, just sitting above our first profit target, 34.45, uh, currently sitting 26 pips of profit on the trade from yesterday. Okay, let's move on over to the AUD USD. Uh, this is an interesting uh, currency pair as we look for an opportunity here. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to go on recent history and uh, patterns that have seen, we've seen in recent history. We studied this yesterday in the live trade room. The blue boxes, of course, we have been in an overall downtrend. Uh, even though over the past few days we've seen some bullish movement, we are overall still in a downtrend since going all the way back into March of this year. The black trend line has been bearish. Now, I know it's above the black trend line, but overall it has been still bearish. The last high here, the blue box, we can see the market into the purple zone, a little bit of a lower high. And let me zoom in on this because this is exactly what we looked at yesterday. The two blue boxes and the similarities. Let's go ahead and and put a black X here uh, right there at the top blue box we'll put another one at the lower high so we have a lower high within the blue box under the purple zone so we have a high a lower high eventually turning lower again so those two black X's at the blue box is what we want to look at so we come down here at this blue box we see a high and now it's developing at least at the current moment a lower high inside the blue box so there's some similarities between these two areas of course what we need to see is it stay underneath that orange shaded area fibonacci from the high of the black trend line to the lowest low on the chart puts the 382 fibonacci retracement level at 3489 so basically the bottom of our orange shaded area we've seen some support here look at the black circles we've seen support 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 we've even seen resistance here before so we know that this is a significant decision point one of two things is going to happen here it's either going to bounce off which is what i'm looking for right now or it's going to break through and go higher so that's the risk if you decide to go short here then the risk is it breaks through. So it's a lower risk and higher reward opportunity to go short than it is to go long. Going long right now, you have very limited potential profit because there's significant resistance here at the orange zone. So it's a terrible place to go long because of risk versus reward and we're running into resistance the risk versus reward is more balanced in the favor to go short now we yesterday on the news that we got out of australia we did see a little bit of a spike lower so that again gives me some confidence to say hey there are sellers still here into the orange shaded area still waiting to ambush the market if you will because we saw that significant 
influx of sell orders on the news. We have more news today out of Australia, by the way, but there's some indication that the sellers are still present just underneath the 7,500 level. So I'm looking for that today. Let's look for the sellers to come back in, drive it back down to the green zone. So the opportunity is to sell on any bump its head or rally into 7,495, 7,500 and target the green shaded area or lower. The risk, pretty easy to see. We just don't want it to get back above the orange shaded area for the Australian dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.